What's good, everybody, and welcome back to s &G with me, A.B. Check it out. If you're looking to level up your breakfast game, then I got the recipe for you. Check this out right now. Look, I got an egg and cheese hash brown waffles. Super easy, big on the flavor. Now, let's get it. Look, I'm going to show you. These are one of them kind of ideas. It's like, just they're great to do it with your family. You know what I mean? Hey, listen, so we're going to put a little spin on it, right? We're going to turn. Take a look at this right here. Look. You see this right here? Look, these are just regular store-bought, you know, shredded hash browns, right? We're going to start with this, right? We got that. You guys can use green onions or chives. I actually got to go outside into my garden and get some chives. Here we got eggs, some shredded cheese. We got some milk. And then look, this right here, you got to have that because listen, we're going to be using a waffle iron, right? You're going to need to spray this, coat it so nothing uh, sticks. You know, super easy. Now, I'm going to talk about what I'm going to be doing to level mine up. Hey, why wouldn't I use some... Listen to this, some bacon sea salt, right? And again, I gotta say this, if you guys been following me, I've been talking about these products right here from Branch and Vine. Listen, these are vegan products. There is no bacon in here, but when you open this up, check this out. When I open that up, can y'all smell it? Look down in there, ooh wee. Listen, I know that's not fair. I'm just doing that, just going over the top. Listen, you can use this. I love it. It's a bunch of ingredients inside of this sea salt to make it flavor to give you that bacon, right? And then right here, if you don't have it, look, I just use, look, kosher sea salt. Super simple, super easy. Got my fresh uh, black pepper. Now, let's work. Let me just say a little bit about this, right? So when you look in, you guys will see I got my eggs, I got my milk, my shredded cheese. Listen, it's really about the prep. I already got that set aside. I've already measured my milk. Then we got our eggs. What I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna go ahead and start cutting my green onion tops. Just like that. And then look, I went ahead and pulled some uh, chives out of my garden right now. Listen, it is so hot outside right now. They, they, they exhausted. So I only brought a few. So what I'll do is I'll just go ahead and just start cutting these also. It's really about the prep, you guys. Okay, so look, now we're going, okay, the green onions are done, chives are done. Obviously, you guys just watch that. Now I'm gonna go ahead and take my bowl. Now we're gonna go ahead and take an egg, right? All you wanna do is put your egg here. Make sure you crack it all the way. You know what I mean? Look, with time, you'll be able to crack them like I'm cracking them with one hand. I'll do one more for you. Look, just the way you put it in your hand. I'll hold it like this, take it, hit it, open it up, boom, just like that. We're gonna add our milk, right? Now for my branch of vine, you know, bacon sea salt, right? So I'm gonna go ahead and just give it, look, a little bit of this go a long way. But listen, we're gonna be using potatoes, right? So when you use potatoes, you know it takes salt, right? So I'm gonna use a couple of uh, pinches. And then again, for those of you guys that don't have it, you know, you can go ahead and use just some regular uh, kosher salt. Now you wanna grab your whisk, check it out. It's already fragrant, you know, cause once you open this up, you can just smell it. Right now it says break, uh, breakfast, brunch, says it all day. And this right here is a, a 30 ounce bag of half ground. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna probably put in just two thirds. So you guys can just feel it. You know what I mean? Uh, I don't know how to tell you how it is. 20 ounces, just go by what you see. You know, that right there, that seems to be about right. Right, so we got it like that. Now look, I'm gonna go ahead and take our egg mixture, give it a rebeat, pour this over the top just like that. I want to say this right now, folks. Don't forget, when you're cooking so that it doesn't become a chore, look, run yourself some water, which I'm getting ready to do in one second. I wash my dishes as I go. Now, I'm going to take some of these chives, just sprinkle some of these in here. Look, chives are so fragrant. I'm going to leave with just a few, you know, for a little garnish at the end. And then, you know what? I'm going to go ahead and just add some green, uh, the tops of the green onion right here. Ah, that's enough. All right? Then we're going to add a little bit of this shredded cheese you guys could use any cheese that you like but that right there is about good for myself now i'm gonna go ahead and take my, my spatula and i'm just gonna go ahead and just you know mix this up don't want to beat it up too much but you guys are getting the gist of it I, like i said i wish you guys could smell it this right here truly isn't fair now once you got it halfway mixed Check it out. I'm gonna go ahead and hit this a little bit more. Look, I make this so often, I know that these are potatoes, it's gonna take a little bit of this salt. But this right here, this bacon flavored salt, I can't say it enough. That right there, you know, y'all probably said it already. It's fire. Now we got that. Let's go ahead and crack some of this pepper. We all mixed up right here. Let me just give it one last little bit. What I did was I went ahead and preheated my waffle iron, right? So I'm gonna go ahead and open this up like this so you guys can see. 
go ahead and take it. Now look, I'm gonna use some of this olive oil to spray olive oil, right? You just wanna go ahead and just hit it just a little bit. Look, this part right here, key. You don't want it to stick, y'all. So I'll set that over there like that, right? Now you wanna get yourself a scoop, right? I'm using a one cup. You don't have to, uh, I don't know how to really tell you guys like how to do it. Just look, I'll fill it up like that and I really don't. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and pack it up just a little bit. But this right here is cool. This is like a good little side. This is one cup. I'm gonna put it right here in the center, just like that. I'm gonna take the top, we're gonna bring it down. And look, it's starting to spread. I'll put a little pressure on it right here until it goes all the way down. Come on. And then once it's all the way down, then we just rotate it just like that and we let it cook. Super easy. Okay, so I want you guys to look right here. Hey, and we I want you to look quick. You see that light right there? It says ready, right? So now we're gonna turn this back and we're gonna go ahead and look at it. Look at that right here. Look at that color. We nice and hot. Tell me what you guys think about that right there. Mm, I got some ketchup with his name on it right there too. Now we're gonna go ahead and just repeat that process, right? But look, one thing I didn't say in the very beginning, let me close this. This is gonna be key. I'm using like a medium heat. I don't know if you guys can tell right here, but look, it's got still kind of like crispy, but when I can put this in here like that, ah, it's nice and, you know, kind of like soft on the inside. This is a perfect hash brown for me. Remember, it's got the egg, chives, cheese, all of that. Now, medium heat, right? If you want it to be a little bit on a, more on the crispier side, what you can do is you can go ahead and just, you know, bump this up and just, I like this right here, because listen, it tells me when it's ready. Hey, look, I'm not gonna over talk it. I'm finna make a couple of more, and then we finna hurry up and eat these. You see me taking some of these out? Look, they came out just fine, right? So I'm gonna take them like this, and that's up to you. You know, if you've been following me for a minute, you know I love the decorating part, right? This is what it's about. So for me, I'm gonna stack them. You see these like this? I like that. So I'll just go ahead and just cut these right down here like that. And this one right here seems to be like the, the one that's the most whole out of this bunch. So I'm gonna take this one, and then we're just gonna find a way to like stack them. I don't know, but that right there, that's what I'm looking for. Even this one right here do fine, right? I'm gonna do this last one. We're gonna put them on a the plate, and then we're gonna go from there. Hey, so you guys seen it? Tell me what you think. Hey, look, I'm not gonna over talk it, because check this out, I'm ready to eat. So look, I got, I'm gonna take one of these, you know, just cool down. I, there's no right way or no wrong way. I know it look crazy, huh? This is a waffle. I'm putting the sour cream on there, right? Now I'm gonna go ahead and just get myself a little, you know, a little ketchup. Cause don't forget, folks, this right here, this is really a potato. But I want you guys to look at that right there. Ooh wee. Mm -hmm. Let's get out. Cheers, y'all. It just ain't fair, folks. You know what, until I can, you know, perfect this smell of vision, you know what I mean, and this taste of vision, this, this just is not right. Hey, what I'm gonna tell you is right now, listen, remember I told you about the, uh, the bacon sea salt, right? Listen, I can taste the flavor of that bacon inside of these already, even though they've been in this uh, waffle maker. Hey, listen, this is one of them things that you can do with your family, super easy, put a lot of smiles on everybody's face. Hey, with that being said, listen, if you're new to my channel, let me just take this time to say, hey, thank you for watching this video. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and tell everybody out here, listen, there's a channel out here that's simplifying these recipes and taking the mystery out of cooking. If you wanna know why I'm smiling, cause I got these on my mind right now. And with that being said, we gotta eat, so guess what, we out. Check this out. Egg and cheese hash brown biscuits. <laughs> now I got the giggles. Wait, wait, wait. Just, I got it.